how's it going? So today I'm gonna be building what zodiac signs would look like as rooms in The Sims 4. We're gonna be building a bunch of different rooms based on what zodiac signs aesthetic is supposed to be like, based on traits about certain zodiac signs, and you guys have actually been asking me to do this for a long time. I find it really fun to look up, learn a little bit about the zodiac, and figure out what these rooms styles are according to these zodiac signs. I've done a few different videos on my channel like this. We did the every room is a different zodiac where I used a randomizer and none of the water signs made it. I've also done a video about what my personal zodiac sign is supposed to look like so I'll link those down below for you guys. So the way I'm gonna do this I guess it's gonna be kind of like a mini series on my channel. I'm gonna break it down through signs of the elements. So we're gonna do earth signs only today and then eventually we'll do water, fire, and the air signs as well. I kind of wanted to do it this way so that everyone gets their fair share of seeing their zodiac sign and what it's gonna look like in The Sims 4. But I didn't want to do literally every single one in like one video. That's a lot. So that's how we're gonna break it down and do this like mini series I guess on my channel. We are currently, when I'm filming this, in the season of Taurus. So that's why we're gonna be starting with the earth signs and then for future videos I'll do the other signs as well. But we're gonna do the three earth signs today which are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. By the way, quick disclaimer, this is just for fun and if you end up seeing your zodiac sign and you don't like it, you feel like it doesn't fit you at all, that's okay. You're your own person. It's all good. Just let me know in the comment section down below what your sign is versus what I'm doing in The Sims 4. This is not meant to stereotype you or anything. It's just meant for fun, okay? So I was kind of thinking of different ways that I wanted to approach this and the best way that I could come up with to start off was going to be in San Machuno as apartments. Let me know for future videos if you want to see maybe like a full house or something, but I felt like that would be a lot to do three different houses in one video. So the apartments I thought was kind of the best way to go about this. So we're gonna start off with Taurus. The Taurus sign falls under April 20th and May 20th. Obviously this is an earth sign and it's represented by the bull. They tend to be reliable, practical, and a little bit stubborn. My sister is a freaking Taurus, so I relate to this one all do well. In terms of interior design for a Taurus, they tend to enjoy more material items, comfortable spaces, traditional, but with like a stylish fine taste. So I'm starting off with the bedroom here. That's kind of the vibe that I'm gonna go for. Apparently your power color is green. So I'm gonna stick to kind of like, right now I've got this bluish like minty green color going on, but I do plan on using a little bit more of green for the living room. This is a very big bedroom as well. So I'm gonna split this off and I think do a walk-in closet slash like laundry moment kind of back in there. A Taurus relies on comfort and security. So I'm also gonna try and get that like cozy aspect in here, which is kind of difficult. Taurus, out of all of the earth signs, I was a little bit intimidated the most by. Nailing that like luxurious style meets comfort and coziness and warmth is kind of tricky. <laughs> For my bedroom, I'm using expensive items, but then I'm gonna pull it together with like a nice comfy rug. Maybe I'll clutter it up, make it look a little bit lived in. Out of the three, I think the Taurus is more bold. So with my furniture, I am gonna be a little bit more adventurous with this one than I am with the other earth signs. So this is what I came up with for the Taurus bedroom. Again, I tried to mix and match that comfort with luxury in this bedroom. And I think it turned out really cute. We've got the candles over there. I tried to mix and match with some like fancy looking vases. I'm obviously gonna go pretty plant heavy in these earth signs because you know, earth. Another thing that works really well in a Taurus interior design is paintings, art, and tastefully framed photos and paintings. So this is what we've got. I'm using the super expensive base game pictures that we've got in here and I'm probably gonna use them in the living room as well. Vintage glamour with these curtains that are separating my walk-in closet there. And then in the back, I've included a little laundry area. Again, we've got the candles, some cologne, nice lived in little closet. And yeah, this is it for our Taurus bedroom. Let's move on to the living room. So since green is the power color of the Taurus, I'm gonna do this wall and maybe that one with this like hunter green. And then on the other side, I think I'm just gonna play it simple with like a white. I'm using these moves movie hangout white curtains, nice flowy, luxurious looking, and it's annoying building in this apartment because I've got this thing which I can't move. Drives me insane. I also can't change the color of this door, which is another thing. So not overly elegant with the couch choices that I picked. I've got nifty knitting there with that like teal color and the paranormal couch with these blankets and pillows on there. And then I'm gonna do a vintage glamour fireplace. And I think I'm gonna do a big gallery wall in the back with more of like those framed photos. I'm obsessed with doing gallery walls lately. I don't 
know what it is. Again, over here, I'm gonna make sure that I have my clutter, my lived in kind of look. Oh, I have never used this before, but I think with like the paranormal pictures over top of that, that could look kind of fun. I mean, I'm not mad about it. The vampire pack has this like luxury green. That is kind of the look that I wanted for my walls. I think that is beautiful. So this is actually what I ended up with for my kitchen, my dining room, the foyer area over here, and this is what I ended up doing with my living room. Again, this is definitely more bold than the other signs that we have coming up, but I think it kind of pulled together pretty well. I'm gonna move on and do the bathroom really quick, and then we are gonna move on to the next one. This is what I ended up doing for my bathroom. I tried to pull it together with that like bluey green teal color. I used this here from Vampires, that tapestry there. Let's move on. Next, we're gonna go and do Virgo. So a Virgo falls between August 23rd and September 22nd. Literally, whenever I hear the word Virgo, all I think of is Jenna Marble. But a Virgo is very practical. They tend to be kind of like a perfectionist. They're very organized, very detailed. And this kind of like Virgo behavior tends to lead to more of like a minimalistic style. On top of that, Virgos tend to be really hardworking. They're not afraid to work hard to achieve different skills. They tend to be very logical, very practical in their work. So I'm gonna try and translate that into this apartment here. And and the style that I'm gonna go for is like a modern minimalist style. I'm gonna try and hold back on the clutter because you guys know I'll get carried away as a cancer. I do not have Virgo tendencies by any means, but we're gonna try and make this work. This is the layout I'm gonna go for. We're gonna do bedroom, bathroom, and then I'm gonna do kitchen and dining kind of towards the back. So I think for my couch, I'm gonna go snowy escape. I kind of get that like modern minimalist vibe sometimes from the furniture in this pack. I think my plan is going to be to use items that have clutter on them, but not clutter beyond that. So for example, I think I'm gonna use this eco lifestyle shelf here and I'm just gonna leave it No adding clutter on top of it like I really want to same thing as my bookshelf I think I'm gonna use a mosquito one right there. I think that's gonna look really nice I envy Virgos. It's someone who is not clean and organized like at all. I freaking wish same as this like end table I'm putting behind my couch. I'm not gonna touch it. No clutter I was kind of thinking about putting a little like basket here to show like the organization the cleanliness But I don't even know if that's even too much spinning around. I'm gonna do my kitchen back here and I think I'm gonna separate it off by a half wall even just that little bit of like this is my living room and this is my kitchen I feel like is gonna kind of translate well for a Virgo I think I'm gonna use jungle adventure counters same with the end table before I'm just not gonna clutter I'm not gonna do it I'm probably just gonna put like the essentials like salt and pepper maybe like a little spice rack or like something something that would definitely be there because I don't want it to be completely empty like I'm talking literally just like that maybe like one other thing and that's it I also think I'm gonna do a nice little desk over here to symbolize the hard working and we're gonna keep the desk nice and organized. We're gonna totally symbolize that hard working, a practical kind of trait. So this is what I ended up with for my living room. Again, kind of kept it easy on all of the details and stuff. My dining room, I put in that extra little space that I had between the living room and the kitchen. Nice modern end table with the eco lifestyle like bowl on it. That is what I did for our open living area. We're gonna move into the bedroom and I think I'm gonna keep that snowy scape vibe kind of going with this. So I'm gonna try and find that snowy scape bed. We're gonna be pretty consistent with the color scheme all throughout this apartment here. I'm thinking about using these like kids Room stuff end tables. I like how they've got that little like box under there, like keeping everything put away. I think I'm also gonna do this cats and dogs dresser. And I know Get to Work has these little like containers that I think are meant for like files, but they kind of look like they could be storage containers for like a bedroom as well. These things in white, same kind of idea as the storage in the end tables. Maybe I'll put another TV in here and then I'm gonna keep it clean again with my decor. So this is what I ended up with for my bedroom in here. I didn't add too much, just like a lamp, a little ottoman, just enough stuff on the walls to make it look full, but not too full. We're gonna go and finally do the bathroom, which I think I'm gonna make a nice walk-in shower here. Keeping again with that black and white, very neutral in the Virgo home. Maybe a double shower moment. So again, walk-in shower over here, snowy escape, double shower heads in there. I think I'm probably gonna keep it consistent with the snowy escape toilet and maybe spa day sinks here. So this is what I got for my bathroom. Again, 
very neutral. I like it. I think the Virgo one turned out pretty cute. Much more subtle than the Taurus home, which I kind of did expect, but yeah, I think this turned out really cute. All right, so final Earth sign we're doing today is Capricorn. If you're a Capricorn, you're gonna fall between the 22nd of December and January 19th. Capricorns tend to be grounded, elegant, disciplined, kind of similar to the Virgo. They can tend to be practical as well. And because of all of this, we're gonna see a lot of symmetry in the home, a lot of balance, more of like a traditional style than any of the other earth signs. A Capricorn values family, connections. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that more of like a family traditional style into this home. The thing that intimidates me about a Capricorn is the symmetry thing, the balance. Something about symmetry makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try my best for you Capricorns. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pull it together. It's gonna be fine. I feel like there's two different types of people though. People that would really care about things like symmetry and people that like couldn't care less. I feel like it's kind of hard to pull off too because if you do the symmetry in a certain way, it can kind of look silly a little bit. So I'm gonna try and avoid that and I'm gonna just make sure that this looks homey, cozy, nice and warm, but symmetrical. <laughs> it's interesting to see that the earth signs are very connected in terms of practicality, being grounded, and a Capricorn tends to be a little bit more on the reserved side. So again, I'm gonna avoid over cluttering, try and keep everything neat and organized, but also have that like cozy lived in aspect. Over here, this is a really odd apartment. Um, again, I've got this here, which I thought I could cover up with a rug, but it just it doesn't work no matter what I put on it. It refuses to go away. So that vent is just gonna have to stay there. And then it also has this, which I think I'm gonna do a closet just like at the front door. So I think I'm just gonna put in like an archway and make it like a nice open closet and try and like cover that up somehow. We're gonna do a nice desk over here, maybe a computer, a bunch of shelves. This apartment is nice because it also has this balcony. So I can do like a little outdoor space as well, which I'm pretty excited about. But again, we've got these little like mouse holes on the freaking sides, which I can't get rid of. So we're just gonna have to cover them up. Let's get a nice amount of light in here. So I'm gonna use this door from Spa Day. I love this door. That one and this one here are two of my favorites in the game. Swatches are really, really nice. I do have this like awkward little area back there and I think I'm gonna go in with a cabinet or something. I think the parenthood furniture is gonna work really well in here. So I'm gonna use that I think for my kitchen, my counters. I also do really like the swatch that comes with it. And I think this is gonna end up being the more cluttered kitchen of all of the other earth signs. I love these parenthood cabinets. I feel like we have so many different options on here and they actually look nice being open with the clutter and when they're just regularly like closed. I feel like you either find one or the other with Sims 4 cabinets. ended up with for my Capricorn living area. We've got the living space here. Again, super symmetrical. I've got the lanterns on the floor. Probably a fire hazard. Maybe wouldn't recommend on a fluffy rug like that, but in The Sims, it's gonna be fine, I promise. Essentially, whatever I did on the left side, I had to do on the right. So we've got one picture over here, another one over there. Over here, this is what I did for my closet space. I feel like you can still obviously see the pipe, but I did the best that I could. We got a nice bookshelf, uh, I think from Cats and Dogs. Dining area right there. Again, with a traditional style of table with a little bit more of the modern look with the tiny living chairs and bar stools. I did try and keep that cohesive, very matchy matchy chair option. This is my desk space. I feel like this ended up really, really cute as well. We've got some clutter going on on the shelves. And this was my kitchen area. A little more cluttered than the other ones. I think the cabinets kind of kept that organization look. But yeah, I really like how this turned out so far. We're gonna go and do the bathroom next. So same thing in like the closet over there. We've got this here, which I'm gonna have to work around as well. So I'm gonna use, this is a base game cabinet, um, just as like the taller option. And I'm just gonna use that to cover it up. It could look like bathroom cabinets or something like that. I think I wanna use the Get Famous like jacuzzi tub in this one. I'm gonna try and keep it cohesive as well with that parenthood sink. We'll do spa day mirror and tiny living toilet. I kinda think that vintage glamour light looks nice in here. I also use that in the living room. So we've got that in the bathroom. Jungle adventure mirror. And this is what I've done for my my bathroom. Let's move on finally to the bedroom. So I think for my bed, I'm gonna go nice, comfy, cozy, neutral. Hello? <laughs> Nice, comfy, cozy, neutral cats and dogs bed. Actually, I think the cats and dogs end tables might look nice on here too. So again, keeping it very symmetrical. Gonna put maybe like a plant on here. Ooh, let's use this plant from Eco Lifestyles. Instead of using an ottoman here, I'm gonna use these like little poofs. 
We're gonna pull it together with a Snowy Escape rug sized up there, I think. I think my dogs just woke up, which means it's fight time. But I am gonna put this little storage thing over here. This is from Laundry Day. I think this looks so cute in bedroom. We've got the pillow clutter in there, a little bit of a rustic look. And I think I'm gonna pull it together again with a Cats and Dogs dresser. I feel like Cats and Dogs works really well with this kind of aesthetic here. So this was the final result of my Capricorn bedroom. I also just did this little outdoor area as well, which I think looks so cute, so cozy. Cozy. We've got this overhang thing from Get Together. I think these couches are from Get Famous. And then I just did like a little barbecue spot over there with some planters, some plants in there. I think overall, this looks so nice. I would love to go and like just sit out there, especially like overlooking the city and everything. Like, yes, please. This is what I ended up with for my Capricorn apartment or interior design. I think this one might be my favorite. If you guys saw your earth sign today, let me know what you guys think about it. If it was accurate, if it was not accurate. And if you didn't see your sign today, I am gonna be doing this series on my channel over the next little bit doing all of the other signs so you will definitely see it in the future let me know what your sign is and what your aesthetic is so i can keep it in mind for the next video that's all i got for you guys i hope you like this if you do like comment and subscribe and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video